What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Oklahoma Sooners and how I think they're going to be a major contender for the playoffs this season. But if you haven't, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified for future uploads. And by doing so, it greatly helps out my channel and it helps me grow as a content creator. And I'm going to get into Oklahoma stats from last year. I have some notes that I wrote down. Uh, Oklahoma went 11 and two last season and they was averaging 38 points a game last season. So that's pretty doggone good guys. Uh, and that's definitely gonna help them continue to win games and be able to possibly get in the playoffs this season. And they also uh, had some coaches changeover and they've added Jeff Levy as the offensive coordinator. So uh, Oklahoma's offense is not going anywhere guys. They're gonna still be scoring a high scoring team. So they're definitely going to be in the mix. And with that being said, you know, they picked up Dylan Gabriel at the transfer portal. And why that's so significant is because Dylan Gabriel played under Jeff Levin when he was at U, uh, UCF. So you're going to have that continuity going on with the player and the coach knowing each other. So that's going to be a huge help in keeping everything running. Uh, final offense guys so that's good and then they have for running back they have Eric Gray and he's gonna have to step up for Kennedy Brooks that uh entered into the uh NFL so you know that's a veteran guy that's been there you know so he's gonna have to step up and then Oklahoma added two four-star uh running backs in Javante Barnes and Gavin Salchuk and those guys are exciting uh, to see because Barnes, he's more of a physical, he's like that power back. And Sawchuck is kind of like the speed guy. So you'll have your your thunder and lightning tandem going on there along with Eric Gray. So that's looking good for uh, Oklahoma offense. Then they return uh, Marvin Mills. He He's coming back, which is a huge help for uh wide receiver room. Then you have Theo Weiss coming back. Even though he uh, got injured last season, he's still a, a guy that's been in the system, so they should be able to pick up right where they left off. So that's good on offense. And, of course, Oklahoma's recruits just as good as anybody in the wide receiver uh, area. So, you know, Oklahoma's going to continue to be a high-scoring offense. So the offense has never been a problem. It's always been on defense. But – with the new coaching hires and Ted Roof and Todd Bates and Jay Valai in the back. I'm very interested to see what they do on defense. And speaking of defense, you know, they're lo they lost six starters on defense from last year. So and majority of them went in the NFL. So they're going to have to do a lot of retooling on the defense, you know, to get them back what they want. But I'm pretty sure, you know, with Brent Venables being up the new head coach, they're going to definitely get that fixed uh, quickly. So and on defense, they have uh, D lineman Jalen Redman coming back. He's uh, got a lot of playing time, so he's going to be a veteran guy. Then they picked up Jonah uh, Laulu at the uh, transfer portal. So that's another guy that will be helping Redman on the D line. And then they have Deshaun White coming back, which is huge. Uh, Five, this going on his fifth season, so another veteran guy that's going to, you know, help lead the defense. Then you have David, I want to say his name is Owubu. He's coming back, and he started in the Al Alamo Bowl, so, you know, you got two linebackers right there, and then you have cornerback Woody Washington coming back, and then you have DJ Graham, who caught that crazy interception against Nebraska. So, you know, the defense is looking like it's going to be pretty good, guys. Uh, you got key guys and key positions. And um, it'll be interesting to see what Ted Roof does with the defense, you know. And really, Oklahoma's only problem the last couple of uh, years and seasons has been they couldn't put their defense together. And they started to get better last season, but, you know, a lot of the key guys have entered the uh, NFL. So, you know, Oklahoma is really, really looking good, guys. Um, 
like I said, if they can put it all together, they're definitely going to be one of the teams to look out for, and they can be scary good. You know, they always had the offense, but adding the defense with that, you know, you got to look out for that. So, but what do you guys think about, you know, Oklahoma? You think they're going to be in the playoffs this season? You know, they fell short last season, you know, and everybody expected them to be in. But do you think they get back there this year? You know, let me know in the comment section. And with all that being said, guys, once again, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified for future uploads. And by doing so, it greatly helps out my channel and it helps me grow as a content creator. And that's all I have for the video, guys. Thanks and roll tide.